The Office of Naval Research. Innovations for the Future Force. U.S. Navy Autonomous Swarm Boats. The future is now. With autonomous swarm boats, unmanned Navy vessels can overwhelm an adversary. A first-of-its-kind technology enables swarming capability, which gives our naval warfighters a decisive edge. The U.S. Navy is unleashing a new era in advanced ship protection, a swarm of autonomous boats that will automate ship self-defense and be able to deter, damage, or destroy an enemy threat, giving added protection to sailors and Marines in harm's way. When we look at autonomous swarm, we're not talking about a single vessel, we're talking about multiple, multiple vessels that can be in a defensive posture, and then when called upon, then can become offensive, surround an adversary, let them know that you are coming no closer to our ship. But of course, if an adversary threat decides to come closer, we can give them another warning, or potentially we can say, you've come too close, we're now going to destroy your vessel. Autonomous swarming is made possible through outfitting a boat with a sensor and accompanying software kit called Caracas. This advanced software was developed by NASA for the Mars rover and adapted through ONR support for autonomous swarming. What we have on board these boats is software and equipment that allows the boats to operate autonomously, which means they can sense the environment, the environment being other ships, perhaps the enemy, that's the objective, and then they can react to the environment. ONR's current demo on the James River was made possible through discoveries in artificial intelligence, machine perception, and distributed data fusion. Now, any boat can be fitted with a kit that allows it to operate autonomously and together swarm on any threat. This new technology can be used to help prevent attacks like the damage caused to the USS Cole by one small boat. USS Cole was attacked in October of 2000. 17 of our sailors were killed in that attack. It's a constant reminder every time we walk the passageways of the importance of being vigilant. Autonomous swarm boats can be a force multiplier. Something like this technology is very useful where you want to have assets out there that can patrol around you almost like guard dogs. And they can give the CO of that ship the intent of another boat that's coming in. And what's new in this exercise is that we're extending Caracas to five small boats so they engage in this multi-boat swarming behavior. From an operational perspective, the, the swarm is starting where there is a swarm of unmanned autonomous vehicles that are protecting a high value unit. The ship, the designated good guy, is the relentless, serving double duty as the floating lab monitoring the demo as the swarm scenario unfolded. As they get further into a congested environment, a red or a adversary approaches and the swarm will go and surround the adversary and defend the ship and then come back and continue to protect the ship. Sam Calabrese of Seaward Services Incorporated piloted the designated bad guy. I know if I was, a, if I was the actual target, it would be pretty intimidating to see five boats rushing at you. Autonomous swarm boats and swarming capability give naval commanders options to deter, damage, or destroy hostile vessels. I think the idea of controlling small boats that are not only unmanned, but they're able to have machine perception, they're able to perceive things without a human being in the loop, and then they're able to make decisions, which in this context means planning their route or planning their action, that can be a game changer because that opens up a whole new set of missions that can be done without a human on board that asset. The swarm technique is applicable to multiple vessels in multiple scenarios. Autonomy kits can be packaged for deployment. Modules for artificial intelligence and data fusion can be put into packages and deployed from surface assets anywhere. And the demo of this revolutionary capability has been pulled together by a team of the best in the field. The team included experts in the field of science and technology from ONR, warfare centers, industry, academia, university-affiliated research centers, with support from the U.S. Coast Guard and Operational Navy. When we're going to protect our country and look at the security of our country, and when we're going to 
operate these new innovative kind of systems. It's truly a team effort. Autonomous swarming extends the defensive and offensive reach of the U.S. Navy. I think it's really the persistence. We can have these machines out there 24-7 patrolling against adversary intrusions into an area where they're not supposed to be. The boats that became autonomous are already in the Navy inventory, on board the Navy's surface combatants, destroyers, and cruisers. You don't have to go out and purchase a new vessel. You take any of these vessels out here that the Navy already has, we unman them, we put the, the system on it, you put the eyes and ears, depending on what kind of mission you want to do, on the vessel, and then let it go do its mission. And this allows the sailors to remain back aboard the cruiser or destroyer, or perhaps it's a carrier, to be able to go through their normal watch rotations and to allow the boats to operate out there and be monitored by the sailors. The autonomous swarm boat demo was a resounding success. It makes you understand the work that you put in and all those many hours it was worth the time and the effort and we worked towards it and seeing it go on man for the first time it was a wonderful experience. Bringing these autonomous systems that sailors can control and sailors can provide the kind of capability we need, we will always keep our ships safe, our sailors safe. We'll keep those ports and those seaways open for commerce and protect our country. For more information, please contact the Office of Naval Research.